What's up guys, CJ here, and welcome back to another all-new HN video, this time breaking down the origins of a key character in Black Panther's mythos, and one that's receiving a lot of acclaim for her role in the film, Shuri, Black Panther's little sister and one of the smartest people in the MCU. To clarify, this is going to be the origin of Shuri in the Marvel Cinematic Universe as we know it thus far, and it is subject to change when the movie does actually come out, and of course, with her potential role in Avengers Infinity War as well, but we are going to also dive into a little bit of her off-screen backstory too. Shuri, like her older brother T'Challa, was born into royalty, the son of Wakanda's king and Black Panther T'Chaka and Queen Ramonda. While her brother was in line for the throne, because he was born first obviously, and the mantle of Black Panther that came along with that, Shuri was also destined for greatness. From a young age, her incredible intelligence and aptitude for physics and engineering was obvious. By the time she was a teenager, her intelligence rivaled the best and brightest in the MCU, including notable great minds like Hank Pym, Bruce Banner, and even Tony Stark, but given some advancements she's made, she might even surpass Tony. At just 17, she's the head of the Wakandan Design Group, the engineering and intelligence division of the Wakandan government responsible for many of the technological advancements that helped make the nation a superpower. Shuri herself is the brains behind many of those innovations, and is specifically the designer of Black Panther's Panther Habits, his vibranium-laced cat suits. In the film, the suit's technology is taken a step further, able to absorb kinetic energy to dish back out later. She's also already found herself a prominent figure behind the scenes in the MCU. Winter Soldier, of course, at the end of Civil War, was cryogenically stored in Wakanda, and Shuri, believe it or not, is responsible for removing Hydra's brainwashing and conditioning from his mind. Whether she succeeds fully in that or not, we'll just have to wait and see. But behind the scenes, Shuri's actually a relatively new character. She only made her first appearance in the issues of Reggie Hudlin's run on Black Panther in 2005. After her brother was put into a coma by Doctor Doom, Shuri herself took up the mantle of Black Panther and became the Queen of Wakanda, remaining in that position even after T'Challa recovered from his injuries until Marvel's Universal reboot at the end of Secret Wars 2. As for recommended reading, I would really highly recommend Reggie Hudlin's run, both Black Panther volumes 4 and 5, the first for her first appearance and the second for her time as Black Panther. This is usually the part of these videos where I recommend some recommended viewing, but you don't really have any options until Black Panther hits theaters on February 16th. But for what it's worth, it seems like that's going to be worth the wait as all the social media reviews I've seen so far have been incredibly positive. In that film, she's played by British actress Letitia Wright, and as I mentioned in the beginning of the video, she is receiving an overwhelming amount of praise for her role in the film, even among the other actors and actresses being lauded for their work in the movie. Based on her strong performances, many are calling for Shuri to have a larger role in the MCU moving forward, and maybe even her own movie. So let me know what you think about that in the comment section down below, but that's going to do it for me here. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to smash that like if you like what you saw, subscribe for more great content every single day, and consider turning on your notifications to be alerted every time we upload a new video. For even more content, check out our gaming channel, HN Gaming, and our website at hybridnetworkyt.com. But if you love HN and want to take your support to the next level, consider donating to us on Patreon as we strive to bring you the best content possible. Signing off, this is CJ, and I'll see you next time.